Hey, Ted here. I'm working on that four cylinder fuel pump, the electric conversion again, and uh, just starting to get back into the second part of the videos on this. So let's get started. So we've got the, the pumps all mounted. It's got the bracket, it's got rubber mounts, got my bracket bolted with a new gasket to the, to the block, covering up the pump hole. Um, I made a brand new fuel line here out of um, Cooper Nickel. So this you can order through Amazon. It's actually a mixture of um, copper and it's nickel. It's virtually as good as probably stainless steel. Um, doesn't corrode and it's very flexible like copper. So it works exceptionally well. So I've got that tube all the way over here going into the carburetor. That's all set up, nice bends to that. Um, I've got my stainless original one still in place that I fabricated. I'll probably change that over to Cooper Nickel. So the oil pressure sending unit is here and it threads into the, into the block with an adapter. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this sending unit out and I'm going to put a T fitting in it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sending unit on one side and I'm going to put a oil pressure switch on the other side. And then we're going to wire that through a relay and that relay is going to send power to the pump. So here's my oil pressure switch. I've already taken the wire and the connection off of it. So I've disconnected that and now I'm going to remove that from the engine. There we go, hold that adapter. pipe nipple and I would get a steel one you can get those at any hardware store and need a eighth inch all right T is PS64 which is basically it is a oil pressure switch is what it is okay I got a little bit of uh, pipe dope on here and we're just gonna thread this in there and tighten this up Not too tight, looks good. We'll put the sending units on next. Okay, this particular sending unit um, takes a 12.26 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Seat that, that's it. I'll put the oil pressure sending unit on next. We've got our oil pressure sending unit installed and we've got our switch installed. Next, I'll start working on the wiring. I'll show you a wiring diagram for that as well. 